Welcome to today's episode of Ask Me Anything AWS. Today we've got a question from Azal or Asal. Apologies that I've got your name wrong, but the question is, how detailed are technical interviews and what would you recommend knowing before carrying the AWS interview? It's a great question. Let's dive deep into it right now. Life is good. <laughs> During the interview process with AWS for your a Solutions Architect internship, there are two times when you need to do some technical stuff. The first one is in your phone screen where you talk to a recruiter, and then the second one is you'll have a Solutions Architect usually that will just talk, ask you about some technical questions. What you really need to understand is what is a Solutions Architect role? As a Solutions Architect, you're there to help advise customers on the best technical solution. And customers can really have questions about anything in tech. And so that kind of just sets the scene that with these interview questions, you need to know a lot of breadth but not necessarily loads of depth. There's a bit of caveat there, that it's not to say that you don't need to go in depth. It's definitely a lot more about breadth in most cases. As an example, I will speak to a customer about machine learning, then another customer about serverless, another customer about RDS, another customer about free tier web applications. So it's really about being able to talk about many different flavors of tech. So what I would recommend as a good sort of baseline is check out the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam and go look at the different topics that that exam covers. Now you don't need to necessarily know the AWS service for e all of these concepts, but what you do need to know is the concepts behind all of these topics. As an example, you don't necessarily need to know about the different serverless services, but you need to understand what's serverless. Or you don't necessarily need to know how to build a free tier web app on AWS, but you need to know the concept of what is a free tier web app, like having the website, an application tier, and a database tier. Once again, you don't need to know specific security services on AWS, but you do need to know the security concepts such as HTTPS or TLS, and just being able to understand what the sort of theoretical computer science concepts are. And then what would be really good is if you can then translate that into AWS services, but that part's not a requirement, but that would be a good to have. What type of different storage is out there? How does the internet work? Some of the questions that I was asked during my interviews were questions like, how does security work and what is security? So really thinking about HTTPS and TLS, how does encryption work? You know, what, what's the concept of that? And really it's about those concepts. It's really about the conceptual concept and not the specific AWS service. I believe you can do an AWS internship without knowing AWS services beforehand. However, it's obviously good to know some of the AWS services as it would help. And sort of circling back to my first point, I think the best way to prepare for the AWS internship interviews is to do the cloud practitioner exam. It's not a difficult exam. Really think you can do it in a few days and it's gonna sort of give you the entire breadth of knowledge you need to know about the internship program and the technical Thanks for the question, Asal or Azal. And if you have any questions about tech, AWS, early careers, interviews, internships, just drop them down in the comments below and I'll answer them in a future video.